Well, today we're going to make a bowl. And in order to make a bowl, we need a bowl from home. About the size of what's going to be a soup bowl. All we need is a bowl and a fork. Let's get it going. So we're going to make a bowl today on the inside of this plastic bowl that I got from home. Now this plastic bowl has a couple of things that are nice about it um, that, that, that caused me to choose it. One of the things is that it's a little bit bigger than what I want my final bowl to be. Remember that when we make the bowl on the inside, not the outside, but we're going to make the bowl on the inside with the clay, it's going to shrink a little bit. It's going to shrink, clay usually shrinks between 12 and 14 percent of the size that you have when it's, when it's wet and workable. So as it dries, it's going to shrink. So make sure your bowl is a little bit larger than what you need. The other thing about this bowl is it's a little taller than what I need, and that may be a choice of yours. You may want to make the top nice and even as it goes around and actually use the edge in order to cut the clay around and make sure it's nice and neat on the top. I like to have the top a little bit uh, abstract, I guess you would say, around the top of it. So I like to leave a bowl that, or have a bowl that's a little taller than what my actual clay bowl is going to be. And that's what this one kind of fits too. The other thing about the bottom of this that's interesting is it kind of goes down and kind of flattens out a little bit at the bottom and then comes back up. I kind of like that. I kind of like that to be a part of my bowl so when the bowl is taken out, and I flip it over, I can see on the bottom there a uh, kind of an outline of where that round flat bottom is going to be. And I may use that in order to put a foot on mine a little bit later on. But we'll see about that a little later. But I'm ready to go ahead and get started with our bowl. All right, so here we go, the headless artist again at work. Uh, we're ready to get started on our piece of hardy board again. And we're going to have two different pieces of clay that we're going to have to flatten again. And as we talked about, in a last video that I did, um, we can use pancaking in order to make sure that the thickness of those two round balls that we're making into flat pancakes are going to be equal all the way through. This is the point where we speed things along just a little bit because we've already gone through the idea of pancaking. So we're going to take this part of the video through just a little bit faster. same size that's great um, between the two of them it doesn't really need to be exactly the same size but if you have them about the same thickness that's certainly going to be a benefit now that I have my two pancakes made I have to think a little bit about my bowl that I'm going to do my work in I need to know the distance between the bottom and the top to how tall my bowl is going to be if I'm going to go all the way to the top of the bowl, it's going to be about that far right there. If I'm going to be a little bit shorter than the top of the bowl, um, then uh, I'm going to shorten up my fingers from that point. So it's not really a mathematical way of doing it, but it is using the distance that I'm looking for inside my bowl to transfer that to my clay. Let's go just about to the top. I want to put my thumb right at the center of my bowl, and I'm going to go just about to the top for that length that I'm going to have for my piece. And then I'm going to hold my fingers together and I'm just going to lightly go across my pieces of clay and make a really light line with my fingers that's going to be the general height for my piece. It doesn't need to be exact, but it does need to be referenced to the size of the bowl that I have. Next, I need to think a little bit about the parts that are going to make up um, my piece. And I'm also going to take those lines, and I've been thinking about those lines that I made across here. I'm going to make lines in the opposite direction, too. So I'm going to make it almost into a grid. So I'm going to make these a little darker so you can see. I have one line with my fingers going this way that I had just made. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that width that I have with my fingers and I'm going to take it this way too. So I make almost an X on the inside. And now that I have my grid laid out for my patchwork, there's a few ways that I can do this. One of the best things that you can do is to use plastic inside your bowl. Once the bowl is lined with plastic, it's kind of nice to be able to get it out easily. It's not necessary because as the clay dries, it will eventually release from your bowl, but plastic makes the process a little easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my popsicle stick that came with your kit, and I'm going to start to cut each one of the areas that I've put my line in. Once again, I can speed things along just a little bit, just trimming up the pieces of the clay, getting it ready to go inside the bowl. I just want the pieces to be interesting, so when they're put in there, they create interesting edges that are going to make uh, at the outside of my bowl. And some straight lines on the outside. I have this long half moon shape. I have what's a, essentially a triangle on the outside. And all of these are going to go into the patchwork that's going to be in my bowl. So what I've done so far is I've taken my ends that I cut off, which are my triangles that I made in my, my cuts, and I sort of placed them inside so that they have a balanced look to them. You can actually do it any way that you want to to fill the inside, but now you're starting to think artistically about how it's going to look in the end. Nah, uh, that music was nice before. And I'm going to continue to fill that in until I have all my space filled up. All right, we're getting close to finishing up this bowl. Now, when I press from the bottom to the top, I press with my fingers and lifted so that I can kind of measure the thickness of the clay as it went through. I went all the way around and did that, and now I'm ready to start to smooth it out. So instead, now I'm going to take my thumb and start at the center, and I'm going to work that clay from the bottom to the top. And I'm pressing fairly hard with the clay to even it up as it goes from the bottom to the top. I'm just thinking about smoothing it so that all the clay is an even thickness on the inside. Now, in this technique then, the inside of the bowl is going to be super smooth when I get done. If you want the bowl to look and have the patchwork uh, feel to it as the outside, then you would just skip this step. I prefer to have the inside of the bowl be usable uh, by having the bowl be nice and smooth and easy to clean and the outside of the bowl to be more where my decoration is. And of course you have areas that are thick and areas that are thin. Make sure that you're applying good amount of pressure to each part and your center gets nice and smooth. As a final step, I did find this plastic tool that was around the house just laying about, and I am using this in order to fill in uh, across the way here and push some of that clay fairly hard into the circle. I did fill in, uh, choose to fill in some of the areas that were thin, uh, so it was an even thickness on the inside. So as I have this bowl uh, oh, I get myself in the picture here. Um, as I have this bowl pretty even around the outside, the last thing that I'm going to do with this tool is start at the center and push up in order to get my final design pressed into the bottom of the bowl. And you may choose to do so as well. So anything you can find around the house that's going to give you an interesting look Go ahead and use it. So there is my final piece on the inside, and there's my bowl. Again, if you don't want the extra pieces on the top, just take your tool and cut those off as well. So today we used a plastic bowl in order to make a clay bowl. We used two round balls of clay in order to pancake across our hardy board in order to keep a consistent thickness all the way through our bowl to start with. And then as we cut those patchwork pieces up, we planned where to put those inside of the plastic bowl. 
and how our outside edge was going to look. The last thing that we did was smooth the inside of the bowl using our thumb to tap all the way around the bowl as we turn it in order to keep a consistent thickness and then smooth that out using some tools that we had around the house. I hope you had fun. We'll talk to you again soon.